and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide, and today I'm doing a lineup update. Now, I haven't done one of these in like a week. Now, the reason I've been doing more of these lately is because I've been making a lot of changes to the team, and I'm kind of stuck. So this is gonna be one of those. This is gonna be one of those videos. We need a lot of. I need a lot of your help. It's gonna be like one of those interactive door episodes where like I ask questions. Clearly, I can't hear you, but you can write them down below at least. I'm gonna need help here because I have a lot of things I want to do with this team, but I'm truly conflicted. I don't have many people to ask. People I talk to aren't like competitive Madden players, like. So I can't really, they don't exactly know what the right thing to do is. Now, I have a lot of things I want to do with this team, but I feel like I need to wait for the Harvest promo. So give me a few opinions on who you think I could change now, who you think I should wait on. I have an idea. I'm going to give you guys my thought process and then just like reflect back on that. Um, I think this helps you guys too, because I'm going to go over one by one in each position, kind of go over what I think I need and go over, you know, you guys already know the format of this video. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty insightful for you guys. It helps me out. So make sure you're commenting throughout the video whenever I ask a question, because I'm going to need some help from you guys. There's a lot of positions I want to change, but <clears throat> some of them I'm obviously keeping. My defense is pretty stout, but also towards the end of the video, I'm going to be going through chems and abilities. So if you guys, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you stay to that point. I'm going to go over some chems and abilities, my thought process on a few of them, and who I should, and you guys are going to need your help to change up some. I know you guys have been asking about chems and abilities, so stay tuned for that. Now, heading over to the team, we're going to show you guys one by one each position, go over what I think I needed that position, and then... You know, we'll bring it back to that. So before we get into the video, guys, make sure to go down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family, boys. Let's keep grinding to 12k. It's the next milestone to hit. Appreciate it greatly if we can hit that within like a week and a half or so, hopefully. And also make sure to comment down below throughout the video. Like I said, no specific things to comment at this moment. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. All you loyal OG supporters, always make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Helps out the channel tremendously. And you guys showed really great support yesterday. So thank you for that. Now let's head over to the team and head over by boom, head over through positions. All right, guys, so this is my biggest position that I wish to change, which sounds weird, right? Because I have, like, 490 overalls here. Obviously, there's two paid mags I plan to sell. I'm waiting for the price to come up a little bit. He's a little, ooh, that's kind of cheap. I'm waiting for the price to come up a little bit. He kind of got screwed. They, they reverted his training back to regular, and obviously, there's no exchange. So it's just been a whole mess with the, the values in these cards, but I'm waiting for him to come up a little bit. But for my quarterback's sake, it's Lamar Jackson right now. Now, what I don't like about Lamar is that I can't power him up, so he doesn't hit certain things that other quarterbacks should potentially hit, right? So, like, for escape artists, I obviously want a lot of these little abilities right here. But, now, I mean, now that we can refund abilities, maybe I can start throwing things on him, like how other quarterbacks have. But he doesn't get that many passing things so without a power-up, without having a little better stats. He doesn't get as many things as you think. So, I'm kind of waiting for that next great, partially mobile quarterback, like a Pat Mahomes with an 80 speed. That's kind of what I'm waiting for. Andrew Luck. But, for the time being, I'm stuck with Lamar. I mean, he's good and all, but that throw power is killer. You guys all understand that throw power is killer. I, I've been wondering for quite a while. I was like, why certain throws, I feel like they're open, but I can never hit them. I watch people hit them on me. I realize his throw power is so weak. Balls just don't get places they should in time. So you, there's certain throws you just can't make. Like a post over the middle that looks like it's open. A regular guy with good throw power will hit it. But by the time his ball gets there, it's a duck. Like someone, someone's going to get there. I've realized lately why that's the issue. But you guys have any recommendations at quarterback? Yes, I do like Andrew Luck, but I'm not spending 800K on that card. But uh, let's head over to running back. Another position where I feel good at right now. I love Saquon and all, but I want like a Barry. I, I, I still want like a bruising back. Saquon's been playing great, but he's, still, he's honestly kind of a little slow. I don't know if you guys have played with him. He has trouble breaking loose, like, like all the way. Like he could break out of the past the last scrimmage perfectly, but people always catch him. Because honestly, 90 speed isn't entirely that fast anymore. I want like a running back, like I want a Barry, like a 93 speed Barry. That'll be what I need on this team. But I'm gonna obviously, I want a one-two punch no matter what I do anyways. But I'm tired of, Marcus Allen can't be in there anymore. Like his one-two punch, he's not horrible. But he just—he really doesn't feel the same anymore. So I think it's time to get a second running back, or I want to kick Saquon once a second running back. But running back again isn't exactly the biggest position I need here. Fullback, not much to go over. I still have him for free. I'm not going to talk about him. I could care less about fullback at the moment. Although I do want Okoye, but I'm going to save my coins on that for now. Wide receiver, I still from finally the first wide receiver I bought like all year is literally McCall Hardman. I got the 94 to, uh, Tory Holt. Great card. The only thing I still have with him is his low catch and traffic, which really sucks. So if this card gets touched, he does drop the ball. But everything else is great. Spec catch is one away from being threshold. His route running is phenomenal. His speed's phenomenal. His height's great. His catching is great. Only thing I have with him is catch and traffic, but this card's awesome for free. I still have Randy Moss. I want his full card, but the issue is that I don't want to spend all those coins. Reduxes are broken because the market's too high on them. Because there was no exchange set, so that kind of does screw the whole Redux market. But we got to deal with what we got to deal with, right? So, I also got Hopkins to 90 overall, but again, there's just no need to, I, I can't use him. 
His stats are not good enough. His speed's too slow. And I, the kickoff card, those, the, that was the dumbest promo of all time. And everything's crazy expensive. And then McCall Hardman, it's, it's pretty simple. He's a 94 speed, 85 jumping. That's just it. I just need I just need a speed. He's just there as a slot guy who can catch wide open balls and take him to the house. At tight end, Kittle. Still rocking with 90 Kittle. He has an 85 run block, 83 speed. That's all I care about. 91 catching. He's decently athletic with good run blocking. I don't really get to speak about him too much. I think I've talked about him way too much on this channel. Left tackle Munoz, uh, just best left tackle for me price-wise. Bruce Matthews, same thing, best left guard for me price-wise. Center, Travis Frederick, guys, you need the center. He moves people. Look at those stats. This center, run blocking is phenomenal in inside zone. I'm telling you, I've seen him move people, turn people, close out. David DeCastro, best right guard for my price point. Again, and then at right tackle, we got Lane Johnson, which just actually need an upgrade, but I have not found the right right tackle yet. Left end, Cameron Jordan. I kind of want to upgrade him with uh, Ed Tutal Jones, but the thing is that powered up and with cams and stuff, Cameron Jordan does get block shitting threshold. He's one off, and he also does have play break threshold and power move threshold and decent athleticism. So he's pretty much the same thing as Ed Tutal Jones for what I need. And this Cameron Jordan was free, so I don't really plan to change him yet. And then at right end, we got Ndamukong Kung Su, but I used Aaron Donald, obviously. Aaron Donald's the better of the three, in my opinion, because although Sue is good, he's too slow. And he does have block shedding th threshold and play rec threshold, but he does not have a pass rushing threshold, which Aaron Donald has all three. So I'm going to be rocking with Donald. Obviously, I want his better card, but we, we, stupid Redux cards are way too expensive. And at defensive tackle, I do have Ed Oliver Jr. I just got him right, like, I think yesterday, because I was done with Devin White and Juju Smith-Schuster. Although I do put Ndamukong Kung Su uh, at defensive tackle also. I put him there for overall. Okay, now at left outside linebacker. We still have this. This is the position that I really want to change, right? I'm tired of Von Miller. I'm tired of Khalil Mack when I had him. I need something new. I need like a new Khalil Mack. Personally, what I want, I want like some juice late in Van Because I, I've realized what I, the way I run my defense, unless there's a better defense run, let me know down below. The way I run it, Lawrence Taylor rushes heavy. And Von Miller's been sitting in zone coverage all year. And it's kind of annoying because like, I don't really run much defensive plays that have both of them rushing. So unless I'm blitzing, Von Miller is kind of useless. So I'd rather have a guy that can kind of pass rush and kind of plays uh, coverage, which they have not made yet. He's not in this game yet. So until that comes, I'm kind of screwed. But I'm kind of tired of this whole outside linebacker game right here. But there's really nothing else. I don't know if you guys have any advice. Let me know. But I don't think there's anything where I could trust that with. Middle linebacker, it's just a solid throw here. Devin Bush, Shazier, and Lewis. Lewis is obviously a monster. There's 95s, 93s, 90, 89, 88, and then Shazier, another monster. And I just they lock the they lock up the linebacker position. I think for at least two months, maybe longer. Well, Shazier is gonna be there all year, so he's gonna lock up the one all year. But the difference is here is that Shazier, when he gets above um, like a 95 overall, he will take Lewis's spot. But Lewis is gonna be a backup, which is the second linebacker, which is still usable. Again, that I use two linebackers. So until Lewis pretty much is overshadowed by another linebacker, which could be two months, I have no reason to switch him. Now, right outside linebacker, Lawrence Taylor. All I'm waiting for with Lawrence Taylor is his Harvest card, which I'm hoping he gets, and that's about it. Don't gotta speak too much. Awesome card, guys. Highly recommend. Now, cornerback, guys, one of our new pickups we picked up prime time. So this video is a mix, right? It's a mix of a few cards I got, and it's a mix of going over what I think I need to switch, and obviously, prime time Deion Sanders. One of, our, one of our great pickups. We just got him with our power pass, which was controversial, right? Because it was between him, Dion, it was between him, Randy Moss, and Aaron Donald. What do you guys think was the best bet? So I, I, laid, I laid out my options, right? Dion, Randy Moss, and Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald's good because he's in the end, and he will get, he will, he will, he will have a part in every play of the game on defense. Deion Sanders, though he's a cornerback, I felt like maybe he gets less of a part of the game, but he will lock up a receiver. He will get picks. He will return picks, which is offense. And he plays offense with kick return and punt returns. So I feel like that's definitely useful. So I feel like him and him and him, him and Donald are close. But then Randy Moss plays only wide receiver, right? So I run, I, I run most of the game. And when I don't run, the routes I run really don't need a Randy Moss. I run out routes. I run precision routes with Torrey Holt. And then occasionally I'll throw like a drag to Randy Moss. But Randy Moss doesn't run those crazy deep routes. And he like I don't, I don't throw contested catches. I'm just I, I don't play risky like that. With the way Madden plays, I just don't see the need to do that. So I feel like I wouldn't need Randy Moss. But comment down below if I should switch out the power pass and Dion. So far, I'm rocking with Dion. I think that was a good pickup for me. But here, I obviously have Denzel Ward. Amazing stats. Don't got to go through much to him. Don't got to go over him too much. But then Dion Sanders, look at these stats. 93 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 90 jumping, 92 play rec, 95 man coverage, 93 zone coverage, and 80 press. Stats are insane. And then I also toss some abilities on him, which is what I'm going to go over when I get to the lineup screen. Uh, his catching to 82. 
he gets a 92 kick return, 92 elusiveness, 91 ball carry vision, 87 spin, 91 juke. The card's pretty great. And then obviously I got Ramsey. You guys already know about Ramsey. They're all pretty much similar in stats except for the athleticism on all ends. And then free safety, we're still rocking Brian Dawkins. The card's a monster. Don't gotta go over him too much. He hits all thresholds that I need for him. And obviously I'm not looking to change him unless it's a Sean Taylor, which apparently someone was telling me there might not be a Sean Taylor. And then Pat Tillman. All right, guys. Oh, and I picked up a kicker. That's another thing I picked up. I picked up a new kicker, finally, that you guys have been telling me to do. I picked up Justin Tucker, 91 overall. 90 kick pow, 90 kick accuracy. Pretty good, right? I'm a big fan of Justin Tucker in real life, too. Always been a, always been a Tucker fan. I mean, it must be, must be tough to say when he's, like, the best kicker. But let's head over to the lineup screen real quick. I might put focus kicker on him. I'm going to show you guys some Camden abilities. All right, so on the lineup screen, so some abilities I want to do. I want to put abilities on a quarterback, but like I said, I have to wait for a new quarterback because I just don't see it as usable to put it on Lamar Jackson because he doesn't get he doesn't really get that many you look at it I mean if you guys have any recommendations here he can he get a skate artist at any other no you see that's the thing he can't get a skate artist anywhere else so it has to be the first one and then obviously I can't take off any of that stuff so then I come over here can he get jukebox somewhere else at least no he cannot so if you look here I don't really see what's usable like gutsy scrambler I mean that's that's pretty decent actually what well, throwing off the run but anchored extender Higher chance to break first sack by blitzing DB. That's not bad, but how often do I get blitzed by DB? Not that often. Agile extender, not that great. Fast break actually isn't bad, but that's only on QB design runs, and I don't do QB design runs. And then here he's got almost nothing. Maybe safety valve is useful, but that's about it. So I really just don't see the benefit of putting on abilities on, on Lamar Jackson. I need a quarterback with slightly better stats to get unlock a whole nother plethora of abilities. And then obviously, I don't want, uh, like, offense all year, I've been handicapped. I haven't ran any abilities. I've been running. Saquon, Mark Sound, and Lindsey were like my three abilities I've been running. I need to get more. I need to get some of my wide receiver. And then on defense, the one I actually put a lot of abilities on was Deion Sanders, which I need help with real quick. So I'm going to go over to Deion Sanders. Let me know what I should add to his upgrade. So I put Jukebox on him. Was that, was that a dumb move? I have Jukebox on him. You guys are helping me in the last video, but I'm still kind of confused. Uh, should I take off Jukebox and refund it? Should I put it on Lurker or Zoned Out? Zoned Out seems like it's really awesome. So does Lurker only apply for using him, or does it apply at all times? Because that could be really cool. But Deion kind of already gets all those crazy catches. I feel like my best bet. Oh, I'll go return man. Okay, do I put return man on? Lurker, zoned out. I don't know. Or do I keep jukebox on? I can return jukebox. And then here I already have these that I have acrobat and man up. Those aren't changing. And then all I'm going to really change is these last one. I mean, they're going to put lurker, zoned out, uh, jukebox, or return man. But that pretty much wraps up what I'm doing with abilities. Now, give me some opinions on what you guys think I should be doing for that. I'm really not too sure. I don't know. It's, it's a tough decision. And then also remember, comment down below what I should be doing with my power pass. Should I take it off Dion and put it on Donald? Make Donald the monster? But what I was looking at, Donald hit thresholds anyways, and Randy Moss also, so. I don't know, I feel like Dion needed it the most. I could be wrong. Maybe I, or should I just get Pat Pete and put him at cornerback and then use the, the power pass to someone else? Let me, guys, let me know down below in the description or the comments, I mean. Help me out. But guys, this video has been pretty long. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Wait, before we leave, make sure to hit the big, hit the big thumbs up button. Always make sure to like the video, boys. It helps out the channel grow tremendously. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family if you're new, if you made it this far. And don't forget to comment. I had a lot of questions. Go back and rewatch if you need to answer them. I need help from you guys. Maybe I'll pull some of the stuff on the community tab. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.